I guess, for both of you, you know, coming out of training camp, going into, you know, game week prep, uh, how do you guys feel? You feel like uh, you, you guys have made both the, uh, the strides you've needed to to get to this point? Uh, you got it. Um, I feel like everybody's eager just to get out there and want to play. Like, game's about 14 days away, I believe. Um, we've been banging up on each other. Like, me and Jay Hardy go against each other almost every day. It gets tiring, but it's fun for sure. But we're for sure eager to play other teams and other opponents. Uh, piggyback off that, I think the D-line, definitely the O-line. The O-line is definitely getting better from what we've seen in spring ball to now. And them putting us, making us better, because I think this past spring our D-line wasn't really what we wanted to be. Them working us and us working them made it us way better and making us a lot more eager to get ready to game time. Jordan, where would you say the consistency still needs to be found on the offensive line? I mean, Coach was kind of talking about it. There's still some battles, I guess, going on along there. Yeah. Um, just to compare it to like last season, last season it was a lot of guys who've been in the program who knew what was going on, what the standard was. This year it's a few new guys, um, guys who haven't really played much snaps. But um, consistency-wise, I think we've been growing every day. Um, just picking stuff up, little stuff like we have JP who's, who's at a, a Ivy League school. Like sometimes he comes in with a whole lot of stuff for us, like just new new information. Like he's a smarter guy. Um, Jack Tucker, he brings his own deal to the table. X, he brings his own deal to the table. It's just guys just putting it all together now. It's just working as a team. Is there more mental strain on you now, being a returner in the center position, trying to get? So many people on the same page on the offensive line with that still not seemingly set. Um, not really, honestly. We all pick up. We all pick each other up. I believe. Um, we know the playbook pretty well. Guys, guys like J, guys like JP picked up on playbook up pretty well. He's a pretty smart guy. Um, Harry, he's been he was here last year, so he's he was well in depth with his playbook. So he, it's all helpful with them boys, but beside me. The coaching staff, they mentioned still wanting to see, you know, the unit firmly come together. Yeah. How close are you guys to being able to get to that point? What's 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 gotta happen between now and Campbell? Just keep working on the little things, small attention to details. Um the D line keep putting their foot on our necks every day, just working with us, going competing every day back and forth. Um I think we'll get better every day with us competing with each other. Jay, I've heard mo- multiple coaches on the staff say when you go just play, you're like NFL talent. I mean, when you hear that, that's got to excite you. But what does that look like to you this year? What What is just go, just play? What does that look like to you? It's really just getting out of my head. I think last year and the past couple of years, I've really been in my head every play, just thinking too much about like formations, thinking about where the back is. I did a lot of too much thinking. And when I don't think about that and I just go and just go with my instinct, that's when I feel like I'm pretty good. Do you feel like this is a big year for you? Yeah, I feel like this is probably going to be the, the year that my name really gets put out there and for everybody to know who I really am because they see it every day, but not a lot sure. of people seeing it yet. You think that extra, you know, you've had some experience in the defense and in the system and playing time. Uh, do you think that helps you kind of, you know, the game slows down for you a little bit, you don't have to think as much, you can just react? I think last year playing a lot last year actually, like, got me ready for this year and how the speed of the game actually is because it's a lot different in practice. And when you're barely out there, you don't really get a feel for the game, but actually been out there, you get feel where college football really is. You dropped like, what, 15, 20 pounds? Uh, I played at 340 last season. I'm down 310 now. Okay, so have you noticed a big difference? Yeah, I, feel, I feel a complete difference on my ankles and my knees because last year that was a real big thing because I've already had three knee surgeries and ankle surgery. So being lighter puts a lot less stress on my body. You big guys difference. returned pretty much your entire starting group up front. Uh, you, you feel like you guys are, are really taking a big step forward this camp as far as your production on the field? Yeah, I think we took a real big jump over camp, especially with TJ and CJ. They're always going to do their thing, but TJ growing, being one of the younger guys and looking up to us and him actually stepping into that leader role as a younger guy has really helped us. Jordan, uh, you've protected other quarterbacks before. Talk to me about the uniqueness that it is to protect Caden Salter. I know he's so dynamic. Uh, uh, is it hard kind of getting these new guys on the same page to be able to do that? What is the learning curve when it comes to protecting um, that? Truthfully, like, it's not hard blocking for Caden Salter. Um, he's a quarterback you love to play for. You would love to snap to. You would love to, to block for him. He brings it out of you. Like he, he, he shows that competitiveness on the football field and practice. He brings it everywhere with him. Um, he's a great dude. Um, even if – we're not doing our job. He makes us look great. Like, he's a great person, great quarterback. 
think last year was the first time you played center significantly. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like you, that year of experience kind of helped you to you know let that position come to you more naturally? Yeah, it's been a big adjustment um, since playing center. Um, but I, I feel like I've I've done what I've needed to do. Um, I progress in a well in a great way, and um, this offseason I built off of it, and I've been doing well. Where have you seen Caden grow from the end of last year to this year the most? Um, he's grown leadership mentally, physically. Like he's attacked the weight in our off season. He's attacked the weight room pretty serious this off season. Just with a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of intensity. Um, bringing it to the football field also. Like he's the same person as last year, just more juiced up, and he he understands that this is his team and it's his time to take control. Xavier Gray was in here a week ago, and he talked about you guys having the dog in you at the offensive line position. Yeah. Uh, it's been another week since then. Who are some other guys that you've seen kind of uh, break out like that? You mentioned uh, JP, and you mentioned uh, Tucker also. Yeah. Who are some other guys? Um, a new guy like Jordan Hall. Um, he's competing every day with Jack Tucker. Um, that's, a, that's a good group right there at the left tackle spot. I believe they're, they get after it every day to compete. Um, Harry Hayes, he's a great a competitor. Aaron Fenimore. <laughs> That's a load right there. That's a, he's one of them guys. Um, y'all, hear, y'all will hear his name a lot in the future for sure. How different has Coach Durkin been maybe coaching you guys last season versus this season? Or no like? different. He's heavy on us. Um, make sure every day we're doing what we need to do to be successful and great. That's about it, yeah. Jay, Coach said that he was really excited about the depth on the D-line. Uh, how much have you seen that make an impact up to this point? Do you see a difference? That's a huge difference. Yeah, one one guy, Lee, really stepped up this fall camp. That was uh, one of the guys that not a lot of people know. He almost left after this past season because he wasn't really getting that, that time that he wanted. But I think he was coming off a of shoulder surgery his freshman year. So him going through the weight program, him going through the summer, really got him right for this year. Him, that's going to make our D-line a lot more deeper than it would have been. But him, Big Mike, and Body, those are going to they're gonna help us go a lot. Jay, you had ended last year with the Oregon game, and obviously you've got a background of having played at that level as well. What have you taken from the end of last season and everything you've been through in terms of how it's changed your approach entering this offseason? I think that last game, it helped me to where I was like, yeah, I can play with these guys. This is where I've come from. It actually gave me a lot more confidence coming into the season because of how well I played that game. But playing around those guys, when all those guys like helped me mentally, Knowing that I can be re- be ready to play with guys like that all the time.